What's correct with your people? Anansi here, and welcome back to Jack 3. In the last one, we made our way over to Freedom HQ. And that's about it. Before we actually jump into this, I want to do a little bit of house cleaning. Uh, and it's just a little bit of stuff, nothing too crazy. Uh, one is a bit of a fun fact that I forgot to mention when it happened because I was doing my mo my motor mouth thing where I was running a mile a minute, but in in the in I think like three episodes ago, when we got the dark strike, you know the essentially uh, Jack's Kamehameha, um, every now and then, and I remember this happened frequently. Um, there was no PlayStation 2 release of Jack 3. Every now and then, during the cutscene, when Jack is transforming into Dark Jack, every now and then, Jack will not change. Like, Jack will look the way he does right now, and he will, and he will grow the nails and claws of Dark Jack without turning into Dark Jack. It's actually pretty, pretty hilarious when you see it. Number two. Between recordings, I went ahead and started doing some of the side missions in Jack 3, just to show what they are like. Um, at the uh, at the end, end, of, end of the last play, uh, there will be bonus videos if you want to see it. And in that meantime, I have accumulated enough precursor orbs to buy pretty much all of this. So every single upgrade we could get right now, I got. And as you can and as you can see, I can turn them on or off if I so choose. I believe doing so, you have to put uh, uh, I think I think what well, I think. Oh wait, my bad, my bad. Uh, I think it's only for those who have the on and off. Uh, no, I didn't want to do that. It's only for those who have the on and off uh option, the on and off toggle. But yeah, as you can see, I got pretty much every single ammo capacity upgrade. Um, every single every single um, utility upgrade, damage, rate of fire, peacemaker increased radius, you know, increased deflections, damage, that kind of stuff. I also bought mm, bought most of the vehicle upgrades, um, and you know, they're pretty self-explanatory. Upgrade vehicle toughness. Essentially, your your vehicles take a lot more damage in the wasteland than they usually do. I also bought three of vehicles, which you'll be seeing during the uh, during the bonus missions. But if we ever end up having to go back to Spargus, which I feel like we got, which I think we got one more visit left left to go to Spargus before everything goes, you know, where we don't need to go back, then I'll point them out when we get there. Um, another thing I got was some cheats. Uh, turbo jet board in the desert. Basically, if you're in the desert and you choose not to get a vehicle, when you hop on your jet board, your jet board then goes, I think, two and a half times faster than the usual. It's ridiculous. There's also dark jack homing attacks. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The dark jack homing attack cheat book, cheat book, uh, cheat code, well, cheat, really isn't that good. I remember I got it and I saw no noticeable difference. Uh, if we ever get to a point where we use Dark Jack and if we can actually see, you know, if we can see uh, an attack in use, then you guys will, you know, see firsthand if it's useful or not. But I remember getting this cheat code and being majorly disappointed, so I'm not going to turn it off. Not to mention, I don't think we're going to be in a lot of situation, situations where we're using Dark Jack very often. But anyway, that's all I want to get out the way at the top of the video, so that if anybody has any questions or notices, notices anything weird about how certain things behave or handle, you know why. Um, so, yeah. That's about it. As, as a matter of fact, just, just so that I'm not making it too, too easy on me, I'm going to keep the jet board on, but we're going to go ahead and turn off the dark jack homie attacks. And like in like a bonus video, I'll try to show off whether or not it works. Anyway, let's get to it. Hello, fellow. 
fellow peeps and cronies? That's right, the Daxtonator is back in the building. Daxter, Jack, you did it! It's about time you two got here. What took you so long? Sorry, we only had a war in the way. Great work, Jack. Let me be the first to officially apologize for the city. Forget about it. I've got my own interest in this. Well, what we know right now is there's a huge dark planet builder bearing down on us all. How much time we have, no one can guess. If it is rogue precursor technology, then the only way to destroy it is with more precursor technology. And that lies at the bottom of the catacombs. Also, the large number of eco crystals being moved about can mean only one thing. Someone is trying to awaken vast precursor technology. I think Vigor's behind it. Or Errol. Or maybe... Oh, oh! Wait till you hear about my adventures in the wasteland. So there I was, facing a whole brood of slobbering metalheads, when all of a sudden... Uh-oh. It looks like a large-scale assault. Multiple targets inbound. You up for some action, Jack? Look who you're talking to. Let's rock and roll, Dax. Okay, so basically, just shoot a lot of shoot a lot of people, you know. Your basic child defense. Um, but these all this thing also has a uh, also has an issue where you have to shoot the uh, side. If you note that there's the uh, glowing pieces here, you essentially just gotta you just gotta shoot those uh, pieces down and. Uh, And there we go. Let's see here. Let me pull out the T-Snake. Just why not? That hits most of your drops at once. Oh snap! I honestly forgot about the uh, laser hits. Yeah, no, so we're just doing some basic tower things. Nothing too crazy. I don't think you can use dark check powers on here if you actually get um anything to like what's a little bit Like I don't I don't think it has any benefit. Like I don't think it'll do any like major damage. Blast one! Nice shooting! Find a way back here, Jack. Okay, I don't get that voice line. It's like find a way back here. It's like I went maybe five feet, Ashley. Calm it down. Yeah, well, that wasn't too hard. All you got, uh, like, like, I don't know. It, it feels like your first mission at Freedom HQ should have been a little bit more challenging than shoot down three carriers. You know, shoot down three dropships. It just feels like it should have been a little bit more uh, challenging. But hey, what do I know? Nice moves, my boy. You're the best man we've got to lead an expedition into the catacombs. Please, please, let us not be too hasty. Are you sure you want this dark ego freak contaminating the hallowed halls of our glorious precursors? I should lead the expedition myself. We're tired of your scheming, Vigor. I've got the answer you're looking for. My precursor monks have given me the knowledge to turn on the planetary defense grid. If you beg me to do so. Jack's always gotten us through thick and thin. I'm with him. Here, here! You washed up, Vegan! Vigor! It's Vigor, you idiot! Whatever! Count Vigor, I hereby dissolve the city council and strip you of your title, command, and all privileges. Now get out of my sight. What? How dare you! I offered you mercy, but now you will all burn in the precursor fires of creation! I swear it. That was one hell of an attack wave. We can't continue to repel such large assaults forever. 
That floating war factory has got to be shut down. The problem is, the factory is shielded and has gate codes on every access point. Most old KG door ciphers were kept hidden in the main system at the power room. If you can break into the system, you may be able to unlock the war factory doors to get inside. Onan says the eco grid in the power room could help you, but to open the old power room, you must find the junction box in the sewer. Personally, I think you're crazy to go down there, but uh, good luck. Well, thanks for a lot of confidence. So, yeah. I think if you press talk, you just hear the cutscene again. Okay. Yeah, that's all it is. Okay, just want to double check. Because I don't remember ever using that feature all too often. I remember I would usually try it on um, in other games just to see a extra dialogue feature. Because a lot of games usually have like extra dialogue in it. But yeah, no. Um, going back to that last scene. If Ashley could have just dissolved the council and made everything null and void, why didn't she do it? I mean, if you make a leap in logic, and I'm just gonna say it right now, I remember what was it? What was it? I think I forget what the narrative act, what the actual narrative uh, rule is, but you should never. It's something to do with never let, never having, having to have your audience make assumptions. If your audience has to make an assumption, you've done a bad job of conveying your point. But anyway, point of, anyway, the point I want to make here is that Jack's with his armor right there. That kind of thing. Um, the point I'm going to make is that really, really, like you make you make KG, you make Crimson Guard metalheads. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, that's so stupid. I mean, I love it. It makes sense, but that's so stupid. <laughs> okay. Now, I mean, I think the assumption you have to make is that Ashlyn didn't want to cause a cause a ruckus by simply overturning a uh, popular vote because that's something her dad would do. I think she was trying hard not to be her dad, but at the same time, it's like. You essentially condemned the hero of the city to a slow, painful death in the desert. I think we could make an exception in this case. But hey, what do I know? Um... Excuse me guys, coming through! But yeah, no, and it's just one of those things where it's like, it's... It's, it's a one thing I'm going to go back to my issues with the storytelling in Jack 3, but it's like... It's like... You have Vigor here, who's essentially saying, "Hey, I want power and control by a religious reasons, but by a religious reasoning." Ergo, give me the power, and I might now I say that he wants he wants to be essentially the great messiah. But we don't spend enough time with him to really understand why. Once again, a lot of good ideas here, just not very fleshed. The only Excuse me, I don't let me hit my bit from behind. Ah! Feel my yellow wrath. But anyway, we're back in the sewers now. Can not really only say so much about the sewers at this, at this point? I mean, I have more to say about the sewers in Jack 2 than I did that this movie really does. There's just not a lot going on, you know? Right, I remember now. There we go. This one you could have just used the um. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. Got to the auto aim take over for that one. Ah, uh, dash his belly cloth, that's hilarious. And that, as they say, is that. 
Go up here, can I? Nope, okay, so we're gonna go through the uh, platforming route because I feel like I come back around here at some point. I mean, I'll give Naughty Dog credit where credit is due, they at the very least make sure that you pretty much go everywhere inside the levels. Unlike some other games where just they'll leave something there and they'll do it. Once again, you can hold square instead of trying to set a circle if you really want to. Did I just shoot him out of the ring? <laughs> Did I just... I bought the magic bullet, right? And I forget this. Use the jet board! Forget the platforming! Ooh, a switch. Like that, the power, the uh. Guys, right, keep the surprises coming. The power room door is now open, Jack. Yeah, like that, the power room door. You can now get to it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, can I ask a question? What is up with games and putting the power switch to some big important thing in the floor? Shouldn't it be like a power station somewhere, somewhere off site? Uh, the good old power switch. Little power station. Let's go. Since, since I spent a couple minutes at the top of the episode running my mouth on uh, stats updates, let's just go ahead and go inside and see what's going on. I hope you have a lot more to say now. I mean, I'm sorry, but it's like, I mean, the journey here and all that stuff going through the sewers, seeing how different it is, that was interesting, but at some point, excuse me, at some point, you just gotta say. Ah, remember this place? I sure miss good old Vin. Yeah, he was a good guy. A bit crazy. Hey, who you calling crazy? I can't help it if the world is out to get me. Vin! Wait a minute, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Or actually, no, it's not. I'm a multi-layered, hyperlinking, digi-memic, bio-construct, super-clocked, mega-memory construct, baby. Did you understand a word he said? When the city was overrun by metalheads, before they got to me, I dumped my brain into the eco grid. Everything's great now. Those monsters can't get me in here. Or can they? Listen, Ben, I'm happy you're whatever you are. But right now, I need to get into the war factory, but the doors are sealed. We think the code to open the doors is hidden in this system. It is. Really? Positive. Can you get it for us? Negative. Why not? Because if you have half a brain cycle, you'd know that those access codes are guarded by the central system. Ancient, nasty circuits in there. Even we bit brains can't nibble around there without getting our butts erased. Just get us close. Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> it's your death. If you fail, I can always use a companion in here. All of the fun we'll have. Let's hope. Oh, God, let's hope. It doesn't come to that. When I put you into the system, the main security will slam down hard. It'll be up to you to beat the system and get out, or get eco-zapped for good. You check some? Okay, Vin baby! Jack me in! Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, input! Here they come! Okay, so yeah, uh, we're playing Pac-Man. Oh no. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I completely forgot how to move. Game on. Okay, there we go. I got it now. 
could have sworn that. I could have sworn I was doing it right, but I guess not. It's looking bad. I gotta avoid the nasties. So what you gotta do is essentially just play Pac-Man. Switch tracks. You can't use the D-pad, which is what I was trying to do. No. Um, and I believe the. I gotta avoid the nasties. Okay, that's my bad. Um, now what's interesting right now is that I'm actually discovering something that I didn't know about when I first played this. And that's, uh, that apparently there's a turbo button. I did not know that. I gotta avoid the nasties. No. So ba oh, also one more thing. It's not okay. That's that's my bad. That's my bad. So it's, no, it's not 100% Pac-Man. Uh, but whenever you see a thing materializing the bottom, make sure you take it out as soon as possible. Because what it's going to do is uh relay the bu the bubbles you uh take the pellets you take care of. So keep that in mind. One thing I try to do no. There we go. I take care of that. Cleaning up my mess. What are you some kind of janitor? Listen, Ven, we've got things to do, but we'll keep in touch. We promise. So, yeah. I know, I'm sorry I didn't get to talk much about that, but yeah, so, uh... Ven is now, is now the, uh, the power grid. He's now the, uh, AI for the power grid. And now we have metalheads in the, um... In the, uh, in the, in the, uh... Crimson Guard controlled parts of the city. If you remember correctly, we didn't do that beforehand. Then we didn't have a problem beforehand, now we do. So things are getting a little crazy. We now have two different enemies working together, which was confirmed. We had to confirm working together beforehand. Putting the squeeze on us and we are and we are back into a corner. Things are going to get crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, then uh in the remember in Jack 2, you remember you guys, you have to, if you remember correctly, you remember uh, Vin's last moments and how he was essentially dying. The last we heard of him, he was, you know, on his last legs, he was caught in like they had actually got him. But no, he dumped his brain into the eco grid, and oh dear, they're actually even further in than I, than I remember them being at this point. So, if people are still flying over, there's no problem. Um, Oh, oh, snap! Huh. Things have gotten bad, things have gotten very, very bad. Yeah, so Ben's technically still alive? I forget the, I forget the philosophical debate on this one is, but yeah, I think Ben is, is technically still alive, and he's still as paranoid as ever. At any rate, we'll get to that, we'll get to that later. I've been a Nazi. This has been Jack 3. I'm gonna have me some Rambo fun. Deuces! <laughs>